These are a few facts that the incarcerate would like for the general public to know. In 1980, there were 8,243 people incarcerated in Pennsylvania State Prison. And in 2013, there are more than 51,000 people. In 1980, the Department of Corrections state budget was $94 million. Now it's $1.87 billion. Two prisons are in construction to be built, and the cost will be $400 million. There's supposed to be 4,100 new beds that will be created here. Some people don't believe that statistics or facts make a difference. I say you decide. The struggles of our people are real. For generations, we fought to be as free as we can be. But it is a short-lived victory if nothing's changed. We work like dogs when our bars close around us. It's no different from a master's house. Always owned, always working. Whipped senseless, beaten of our sanity that we've left behind. Whips to batons, beaten in death. They're the same, a bloodline brother. If it won't change, what have we fought for? What do we die for? It was all for nothing because we have officially lost the fight. The community sends money from schools, jobs, and even their homes to these prisons that big corporations buy on their own and don't even take the time to send it back and reinvest into community. But instead of putting back in this everlasting loop of prison money, the big corruption, I mean corporation money. Who knew? I guess I did. That no one would want me. Home failed me, school failed me, justice failed me. I ran away, no one follows me, so I never bother to stop. The world is changing for the worst. Those I trusted are gone. When I finally decide to stop, I see them take money away. The people fight to reclaim it. If you ask me, neither of them deserve it. Everything will continue in this endless cycle of greed and selfishness. It shall all burn. To be put out of its misery? Will anyone fight for me? Or is this where it all ends? <laughs>